What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here, so today I'm going to be showing you all the locations for the DLC weapon packs you can find in the game. So the first one is the Memories of Benoit pack, which comes with uh, two melee weapons and a skill card. Now the skill card, which is called the Personal Space card, that one you automatically get in your inventory as soon as you unlock skill cards, so that one you don't have to find. For the weapons, you want to go to Carlos, just like I showed there, and he will have them. Um, I don't personally have the pack, but you can see on the screen here, these are the weapons that are included. And um, they, you'll be able to get them from Carlos, so they'll be good helping you out early game. Not necessarily so much later, because they are green rarity weapons. Uh, so you definitely want to get better ones eventually, but they are there for you at the start. Now for the pulp weapons pack and for the golden weapons pack, you'll actually need to be at the Sterling Hotel, which you don't unlock until very late in the game. Um, probably about mission 17, I believe, somewhere around that time. You want to come to this guy right here, Dougie. He is the only person that's going to have these. You can see here they are here. So we've got the home wrecker and the eye opener from the pulp weapons pack. And then we also have the Abuela's Ashes and one hit wonder from the golden weapons pack. So let's start off with the pulp weapons pack. So we've got the home wrecker right here. And it's just a big old hammer. Um, so, you know, it, it works just like all the other hammers. You can upgrade it and stuff like that too. And heavy attacks are freaking amazing. So yeah, it's, it's not a bad weapon at all, especially if you wait till a little bit later. I completely missed that zombie. Uh, if you wait till a little bit later on to use it, it will be a lot stronger. So saving this for later is not a bad idea. So now here's the eye opener also from the pulp weapons pack and it is a pitchfork that is a stabby thing um i really like this because there's not a ton of weapons that i've found at least that do stabbing and then here is the heavy attack animation right here so if you really like to stab things this one's a really good one to go with and also the trickster smile knife which i do have a video on linked in the description in case you're curious about that um but yeah no i like this one and you can stab people in the face and all sorts of great stuff so now from the Golden Weapon Pack, we have the Abuela's Ashes Mace. Now this thing, I love maces in this game. I think they are very powerful because they do stagger enemies when you hit them. So you can actually swing them a lot more without getting hit. Of course, granted, I'm getting hit a bunch. So <laughs> that's just me not being great at the game. But um, yeah, it's really good. There's the heavy attack real quick. Well, if I don't get hit by a zombie. And there's the heavy attack. Now for the last one, we have the One Hit Wonder. And uh, unlike the name suggests, it is just a reference to the song from the first game, Hoodoo You Voodoo, and not actually being able to one-shot anything. Um, I'm doing terrible with aiming at this. I don't know why. <laughs> Normally, I'm not this bad at aiming, but for some reason, it's happening today. Um, but yeah, you can, again, all of these can be modified. So if you want to add... Um, electrical damage or fire damage or whatever you want to it and uh, so, like I think at least one perk on each of them to make them even more powerful then I say definitely go for it because it is super worth it because they are all pretty powerful um, especially if you wait till like I said a little bit later on in the game to obtain them. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Dead Island content make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching see you guys next time.